Hello everyone and welcome back to Career Q, a place to curate your career. In today's video, we will be discussing all about Salesforce. What Salesforce is, what tool technology, what does it use, what you need to learn, does it contain a lot of coding or is it uh, something that a person who is coming from a non-coding background, he or she can take and what is the salary expectation, how much can you earn and the other different questions like what is the future growth, what is the career opportunities, is there any demand or not. Everything will be answered in today's video. If you are new or you have not yet subscribed to the channel, guys, please send me some motivation. Please hit the subscribe button so that even I get the motivation to build this content for you. And with that being said, let's get started. Salesforce is a tool that has been developed by force.com and it is a CRM tool. By CRM, I mean it's a customer resource management tool. So say for example, you are going to this shop and they have asked you for some of the details like your name, your phone number, your email ID and those things and your profile is created. They sometimes ask you your address also. So your profile gets created and then anytime you make a further uh, purchase from that shop or say any offer comes up then you get a notification that yes uh, you know this offer is up and running then you should you will be getting this amount of discount or you know your bills may be coming to that play, uh, to your phone number these kind of things are done with the help of this crm tool they store your information in a certain place and all the information like you know you went to the shop at this day as soon as they put your name or as soon as they put your phone number your entire detail come up so this is being done with the help of salesforce salesforce is a very is the i would say the most powerful tool that is being used extensively in the market and no other tool there are a lot of crm tools in the market however salesforce is the most powerful salesforce is a tool that is being extensively used in the pre-sales sales or after sales department you know it is being used by the relationship managers the sale uh, marketing team and a lot of different teams in an organization are dependent or that work is dependent on salesforce and a lot of work gets done on salesforce majorly it is being used to store the customer information such that you know you may maintain a customer relationship now i hope that you have got an understanding of what this tool is and how it functions where it is used and why it is used the one thing that makes salesforce so popular and versatile is its ability to be customized so you can become a salesforce developer and you can actually go and develop or customize the settings as per your business requirements or as per your business uh, whatever policies are there you can update the settings in salesforce and you can customize salesforce as per or as in accordance with your business that is the one uh, the one exclusive feature that Salesforce gives which makes it so, so, so popular. What are the different roles or positions that you can or you, um, you can become as if you are going or learning Salesforce? Then Salesforce has two positions, namely Salesforce developer and Salesforce admin. So there are just two roles or two positions that Salesforce can give. It's either a developer, a person who will be customizing uh, the requirements as per the business needs or the admin, the person who will be looking after the entire functionality and will be telling the developer probably that this needs to be done or this needs to be uh, changed. So, you know, uh, the role of a developer will be to customize the Salesforce as a, in accordance with his or her business requirements. And the job of the uh, of a Salesforce admin will be to look or to overview the entire process as ev if everything is going fine or if there is something that needs to be changed and so on and so forth. So these are the major two roles that you, uh, if you are learning Salesforce, then you can actually aim for these two roles. Now, if you come to coding bit of it, then yes, if you become a Salesforce developer, you will need to code and the programming language that you need to learn in order to become a Salesforce developer is rather a very unpopular programming language and is not being so used. So the programming languages that Salesforce uses is Apex and Lightning. If you if you are to do something on the back end, then you will be needing Apex. If you are doing something on the front end, then you need to learn Lightning. So these are the two technologies that Salesforce uses and you need to learn both of them if and only if you aim to become a Salesforce developer. As a Salesforce admin, you are exempted from learning these and you can directly become a Salesforce admin. Uh, you do not need to have prior coding language uh, knowledge or coding experience in these languages. So yeah, Salesforce is a CRM tool that is easy to use and of course people from coming from a non-coding background who want to make their career in the non-coding field of IT or in the non-coding field of software can definitely think about becoming a Salesforce admin. 
you need to actually undergo a Salesforce certification. It will be better if you become a Salesforce certified person. So there are two different certifications that are there. One is for the developer and the other is for the admin. Uh, it is something if you are aiming for a Salesforce admin certification, then it's ADM 201. And if you are aiming for a Salesforce developer certification, then it is GV201. So, you know, these are the, the different types of certifications that you can undergo to become a Salesforce expert. Uh, if we talk about the salary growth, then as a Salesforce admin, you can expect the starting salary to be in between 4 to 5 LPA. And this will continue to increase as your seniority and as your experience in the Salesforce field increases. In a span of some years, some experience, you can actually aim to get hold of even 12 or 15 LPA. So yeah, you can start at 4 or 5 LPA. That is the starting salary that is given to a Salesforce admin. But as you gain experience and as you become more knowledgeable, uh, this salary also increases and you can expect somewhere in between 12 to 15 LPA. So as a Salesforce developer, you can aim to get a starting salary in between 5 to 6 LPA. And this will keep on increasing as you gain your knowledge and experience in this field of Salesforce development. And the highest salary can also go in as high as 25 5 to 26 LPA. Last thing that I want to discuss is the scope or the demand in the market. If I say about the scope, then there is a huge, huge scope in this market because you know Salesforce is a new tool and it is it has so much of power and it gives so much of power to the business owners that they are adopting this tool. Uh, you know with open arms and there is a huge demand for Salesforce both developer and admin so you know you can be sure that uh it has a very good scope in the market. I hope that by this video, you have got a clarity on Salesforce and everything that you wanted to know about Salesforce. If there is anything that I might have missed, then please put them down in the comment section such that our audience get benefited on a whole. And you know, anyone who's uh, trying to get into Salesforce gets the entire picture of what this is actually all about. Also, if you have not subscribed to the channel yet, what are you waiting for? Do subscribe to the channel so that you do not miss another video. Stay tuned to CarrierQ. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.